The spy is a master of disguise. He can disguise himself as any member of the opposite team, turn invisible, and instantly kill anyone with many of his knives with a backstab. Even if that fails, he can still use his revolvers for a quick getaway to live again another day. Lock up your sentries, hide your heavies, the spy is coming. The stock revolver is a Colt Python with a 6 inch barrel and ivory grips. The spy reloads this weapon by using a device known as a speed loader. This allows for all 6 barrels to be loaded at once. The big kill is a promo item for Sam and Max the Devil's Playhouse. It's based off an oversized 44 revolver used by the character Sam from the series. It's based off a Smith & Western Model 29. The Ambassador is a Dan Weston PPCK 357 with rosewood grips and engraved barrels. The Russian translation of the Ambassador's page for the Sniper vs Spy update claims the Ambassador uses 50 caliber rounds. The Enforcer looks similar to a stainless Colt Detective special with pearl grips. The barrel appears to be fatter and longer too. The Latron J is a Silver Naga M1895. The Naga has 7 barrels unlike the L'Etranger in game. L'Etranger is French for the stranger, the outsider, the foreigner or abroad. The Diamondback is a promo item for Deus Ex Human Revolution. It started off the Diamondback 357 revolver from the game. The stock knife is a butterfly knife or ballet song. It was commonly used by Filipinos as a self-defense and pocket utility knife. It can be brought out using one hand in the hands of an experienced user. Nowadays the knife is used more often for tricks than anything else. The Sharp Dresser is a promo item for the game Assassin's Creed Revelations. It resembles a blade used by the Assassin's Guild in the game. It shares stats with the stock knife. Black Rose is a promo item for the game Alliance of Valiant Arms. It's a partly serrated, engraved double-edged butterfly knife. This item can no longer be attained, as the servers for the game have shut down. It shares stats with the stock knife. Your Eternal Reward is an ornate dagger with oriental designs. The name is a reference to a scene in Aladdin where Jafar fools Aladdin and attempts to murder him with a dagger that Jafar refers to as your eternal reward. What are you doing? Giving you your reward. Your eternal reward. The Wenga Prick is an oversized voodoo pin. A Wenga is a magical charm packet found in the folk magic practices of Haiti. The weapon shares stats of your eternal reward. The Kunai's Kunai is a Kunai. A Kunai is a Japanese tool meant for farming and stone masonry. Many ninja weapons were adapted from farming tools and Kunai's were easily sharpened into assassin tools. The Big Earner is an Italian stiletto switchblade. It appears to be broken and unable to be sheathed. A stiletto is a knife or dagger with a long slender blade and needle-like point. The spicicle is an icicle. Victims will turn to solid ice when backstabbed. I actually couldn't find any proof an icicle has been used as a murder weapon, but I did find a lot of speculation how you could pull it off. People have been killed by falling icicles, however. The Disguise Kit is a cigarette case with a hidden Spytech PDA. The cigarette cases are a way of keeping cigarettes out of the elements. The Invis Watch appears to be a digital watch. The first digital watches to hit the market came out in 1972, meaning the spy got his hands on one early, or this is a special made watch for the spy's cloak. The Enthusiast Timepiece is a promo item from the game Pokemon at the Inventory. It's obtained by beating Tycho when he brings out the item instead of cash. Oh hey, this is Future Humobile editing the video. Uh, I forgot to mention the Enthusiast timepiece as a reference to a watch Tycho and Gabe fight over in the Penny Arcade comics. Just thought I'd slip that in. The Quackenbert is a promo item for Hitman Absolution. 
I'm not too sure about the reference on this one since I haven't played any of the Hitman games. The Cloak and Dagger is a digital watch that looks like the Stock and Viz watch. It kind of looks like a gold Pulsar P1 or P2 with a leather band. The Dead Ringer is a pocket watch. Pocket watches were used around the start of the 17th century to late 19th century to keep the time. They were often very ornate and associated with the upper class. The Sapper is a small electronic generator. It can be placed on engineer buildings or robots when playing man vs machine. The App Sap is a promo item for Portal 2. It's the character Wheatley converted into a Sapper. It functions identically to the Sapper. The Snack Attack is a crude Sapper made out of a mutant bread monster and what appears to be some sort of dynamo. It functions identically to the Sapper. The Red Tape Recorder is a promo item for sleeping dogs. It is a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. The Chinese print on the front reads Anti-Turrent Device or Anti-Sentry Device. Slowing down the sapping sound reveals a voice saying, Let's make some noise.